very important for me to have a staff that's aligned in, in, with the same philosophy. And this, the three of us work very well together in the sense that we have this, a collective goal and a collective way of of approaching how we're going to coach. And in, in, in any given session, uh, I will, you know, I'll oversee everything that's happening, and then I'll make adjustments accordingly individually with the players and have one-on-ones with them. Uh, and, and Coach Masucci does a great job of organizing and giving them all the tools they need to be successful. Coach Gordon does a great job with the keepers. And, you know, we'll come back after practice and analyze how it went, what worked, what didn't work. And then we'll plan for the next day. Ball from blue out there. You step out, you force out. Support comes in, support comes in from there. So Those practices are run in a certain structure. We'll have uh, technical warm-up for about 10 to 15 minutes, then we'll go into some high-paced competitive exercises in 1v1, 2v2, um, usually the width of the box, and we just get them going at full speed, try to get some intensity and get all the principles that we're going to touch for the rest of the practice in that small side grid game. Uh, afterwards, we'll go into something a little bit bigger, usually 4v4, 5v5, something a little bit more representative of a, an actual line, let's say the midfielders or strikers, and then we tend to finish with something that's as close to related to a game as possible. They're very intense and they make it very game-like. That way when you go into a game, it's not much different, so you're prepared. They kick like my butt, <laughs> and as a freshman, like that's what they do, and you just have to suck it up and you go hard. Basically, I have the keepers for about a half an hour uh, in the beginning and sometimes in between the sessions. Uh, we'll work primarily technical. Um, uh, technical activities and then we'll join with the group for more tactical activities. We'll start out technical work and you know move gradually move into you know as full field if, if, if we can. Uh, in tactical situations what I like to do if we're doing 1v1s, 2v2s, if I see things that need to be adjusted that you know it helps to have a, a couple of sets of eyes looking at the players and making sure that they understand what they're, what's going on. In a situation in a 1v1, 2v2, when that player's uh, rep is done, I'll pull them aside and I'll have a little one-on-one -on -one with them and explain to them what we're looking for and what they're doing well, what they're not doing well, how to adjust to be more successful. If you ever need some help during a practice, she pulls you aside and she'll just break it down for you just a little bit easier for you just to understand and everything. She's more of the quiet voice in the back of my head. I do have a tendency to be hard on them, uh, but I can also be understanding and compassionate as well. I think there's a, a good mixture between the three of us to, to have the girls know where we're coming from at all times. So I'm going to be totally honest with them. Uh, good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, I think the feedback has to be on point. It has to be honest. You know, just saying good job is not specific, and um, uh, it really doesn't get you anywhere. I mean, if you're going to compliment them, it has to be something they actually did. Um, if you're going to get on them, it's got to be productive and you've got to change that behavior. Coach Gordon is always having it planned out and having practice set. She knows what she wants to work on and she changes that based on the keeper's needs, which I, I find very, very help, helpful in my growth as a keeper, just because it's catered towards me and catered towards Tansy. I'll be doing more of the collective training. Um, Coach Montana is going to be able to get in with the individuals, give them their individual feedback while I'm coaching the team. She'll pull a player out, give them some feedback. She'll see something she doesn't like. You know, she'll she'll give me word, and we'll sort of try and adjust whatever it is as it goes on. And then Coach Gordon's working with the keepers, and you know, the correlation between the keepers and the back line also. So I just think, you know, everybody has their role, so that that's what's important. We're not just stepping on each other's toes. He's a very like technical, like very specific coach. He wants. He expects a lot from you, and if you don't give it to him, he'll tell you, which I personally like. That way I know what I'm doing wrong, and he'll help you fix it. His style is very tough. You need to be on your game at all time with him. I don't care how tired you are. Go! My philosophy is to make sure that every time a player steps on the field, that they're giving 100% of themselves. We're never going to get outworked again, ladies. Uh, never again! Never again! So I think that they need to understand that as much as we're here for them off the field, on the field it's really business. So I'm not, you know, I tend to not tolerate anybody not giving 100%, you know, anybody that's not, you know, concentrated or doing the job as best they can. 
I feel that a player needs to be accountable for their own actions and needs to understand their limits and their skill level and they can't go under that just because they're having a bad day. They need to maintain a certain amount. They need to maintain a certain level of performance at all times and, and that's a psychological thing as much as it is a tactical or a technical thing. We coach this team as though we've been successful for many, many years. There's nothing about the past that affects how we coach them now. There's a standard that we set, we went into and we all agreed we would not allow ourselves to dip below and we have expectations that may exceed what anyone else thought we would have coming into the season. The past is in the past and right now we're moving forward teaching and coaching as if we were always successful and always having good years, year after year after year and, and that's how we're moving forward. It's the only way to find success is to believe in it and to move forward. Do not get out work, ladies. Team on phase, one, two, three, team! team.